What's going on YouTube? This is the Disabled Outdoorsman. First of all, to my subscribers, hey guys. Um, sorry it's been forever since I've made a video. I've just been very busy lately, it seems like. So, I'm going to try to change that today. <laughs> I have a knife, as y'all can see here. This is... There we go. The Smith & Wesson Search and Rescue Tanto, I am hope I'm saying that right, blade, fixed blade knife. And... Yeah, it says search and rescue. I found it online, thought it looked cool. I was like, hey, that'd be awesome to have. So, lo and behold, bought it, ordered it. <coughs> Excuse me, came in. And here it is. Um, it says search and rescue, although that's not my POU or philosophy of use for it. This is the, oh no, I've run out of ammo for my shotgun. What am I going to do? Well, I don't want to die. I don't think any of us would want to. So, this is what I would use. Yeah, when you have to get up close to people and cut them, it hurts, and it might hurt you, and it's not going to be fun, and it's not going to look pretty, but hey, you'll get to live, so this is the knife I would use for that. Um, hopefully you all have seen my other knife review. If not, I'll have it annotated, or I can try to get it annotated if I have time after the video. Um, but this is, let's see, size and weight of the knife. The knife itself is seven ounces. The knife plus the sheath is a half pound. The length of the knife overall from blade tip to handle, don't want to cut myself there, from handle is 10.5 inches. Sorry about that. I have my notes in front of me in case I need it. Um, the blade length, so from end here to tip there is 5.88 inches. Um, it's very durable and reliable. I'll show you guys here with a piece of paper. Okay, don't try this at home. You may cut yourself. Paper, knife, that I just stuck the knife in somewhere right there as you can kind of see and I just went straight across it and look that's what happened so there you go it's very durable very reliable I like it I like how the handle feels when I hold it it's not like it's gonna go anywhere I feel like I have control of the knife um, real quick on the sheath, there are several points to attach it to your belt if you so wish to do so. Uh, the first is the obvious, the, let's see if I can show you guys, hold on, I'm going to have to move you, sorry for the bumps. Alright, gotcha up here. First of these is through here, like so. It goes on the side of your belt like so. Um, the other is sideways. Now, why you would carry your knife sideways on your belt, I guess I kind of see. It's just not what I would prefer. So, you go sideways like so. And then last, you could use the D-ring here. Maybe it's like around your neck or something if you've got other things on your belt. But that's not how I would carry my knife. Alright, bringing y'all back down. Okay, so with all that said, it's very ergonomic in hand. Like I said earlier, it's not going to go anywhere when you pick it up. It's not going to fall out of your hands or anything. Um, the ease of use comparison, it compares easily. I'm disabled. I can use this knife. If you're not disabled, you can use this knife, and vice versa. Um, the rating is 10 on the EUCR, the ease of use comparison rating, I give it a 10 because I'll be able to use it and someone without disabilities will also be able to use it. I paid between 20 and 25 dollars for this knife. Um, I could not find it on Smith & Wesson's website. I had to go to Amazon.com. I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with that, but that's where I had to go to buy this knife and then I had to wait what seemed like forever for them to deliver it but honestly, I think Amazon's a really good place to order stuff from because they are quick about getting it to you. So, oh, and one other thing. Uh, 
if you need to sharpen your knife for whatever reason, it's pretty sharp to me, but this is your sharpener that Smith & Wesson gives you. You can see the logo on the back there. But you just run your knife back and forth along here and it'll sharpen it. And it goes in this front Velcro pouch right here. That is the Smith & Wesson Search and Rescue Tanto Blade. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and I will try to get more videos out as just as soon as I can guys. Thank you for your patience. Later.